Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get your Fraggle Rock looking ass over here right now. Come here. Go get this motherfucking treat over there. Go get it. I actually do it right here. Sir? Sir, babe? Alexa, stop. Alexa! Stop. Oh, what a beautiful Sunday morning it is at the big house. Darlings, hello. You want to know what's fucking strange? I'm going to tell you what's fucking strange. If y'all want to know what's fucking strange, go ahead and give me a strange emoji in the comment section because I'm going to tell your ass, going to let your ass know right in the motherfucker now what's strange. Do you know that it's not letting me go live unless I attach to something that I'm donating to? So, I don't think it's a bad thing, but you're trying to force my hand here. And that's okay. That's okay, Instagram. You know, I'm trying to work with you and not against you. But I can't go live unless I have a fundraiser that I'm charitable to. So, St. Jude is it today. I guess we're going to rotate the foundations that we'll be donating to, and that's perfectly fine. Um, you don't, you're not required to donate to it. I just think that this is... Um, this is strange. This has been happening since the update on Instagram. Um, and it's a way to force influencers to contribute some type of money if we're choosing to monetize outside of the platform here. Now, Instagram and Facebook are owned by the same people. Facebook ain't never done no shit like that. Um, and it just kind of furthermore emphasizes the fact that, you know, we're regulated, bro. Like, it's crazy. I went live on you Moon's page yesterday because, you know, I always got to work around the way work around. You know what I'm saying? And I went live on Yumu's page yesterday, and I was able to join that live, but I couldn't go live over here until I attached to a charity or a fundraiser. I think that's kind of corrupt, but they they update their terms of service all the time, their privacy policies all the time. And, you know, I may have a lot of followers, but I'm a little fish when it comes to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Instagram got their own algorithm. They do their own thing. Where my blue eyes at? If you're going to damn text a bitch with a fundraiser, you might as well give me my filter, bitch. So, I'm not complaining, but it is a workaround. Maybe I'm not the only one experiencing this. Maybe I am. If I'm not, it is what it is. But that's just like corruption. Cerberus, come here. You got to watch that damn dog. You got to watch that damn dog. And Cerberus, it's Sunday, so we're getting baths today. You're getting a bath today, and your brother's getting a bath today. And I'm getting a bath today. I actually put an Apple eye tag on that nigga. And um, it works great. He went to goddamn Miss Petunia house the other day, and I knew exactly where he was with that Apple Air Tech. I suggest everybody get one. But that's, 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 that's like, that's fucked up. Mm. Mm. That's fucked up. But it is what it is. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm just coming to you guys live right now because I got to tell y'all the truth. I cooked the best meal I have ever cooked all year yesterday. And it's going down tonight over there on um, my YouTube channel. Uh, it starts at 8 o'clock p.m. if you want a preview of all my food throughout the week. And then at 9 o'clock p.m., I am actually uh, doing a mukbang of the alligator. And I spill a whole bunch of fucking tea. Bitch, do y'all want a preview of the read? And I'm going to drop it 11 11. It is so fucking good. Uh, but it's so fucking funny. But I'll show it to you right now. Hold on. This is why the album's not done. This is what we do. Yeah, but 
two notes and drunk a hand bone. Just put that goddamn food down. I will tell you congratulations for your daytime Emmy though. I love it for that show. Watch out for the big girls. So good. So good. And it's, it's good to see someone of your texture doing what you're doing. I don't bash him, I don't do any of that, but I call a spade a spade. And Lizzo, if you don't want to be calling a spade, stop shoving your ass down our face and be glass sick. So the mukbang is at 9, and then at 8, I actually show you guys the food. And there is a 50% off discount on our orders. And, um, yeah, I'm technically on break. So I just want to, I guess, open up the conversation to you guys. First of all, make sure that you keep your notifications on, too, because this new Instagram update is a bitch. Not only do I have to have a fundraiser attached to something, uh, in which it, I actually looked it up. Instagram is getting 67% of whatever is fundraised. So if I ever have anything that I'm standing behind, like a cause or anything like that, you come to me directly. I'll get the money to them directly. I don't suggest that you use third party to uh, raise money. I just don't. I, I, I feel like you should go through your website. I feel like you should cut the middleman out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I say in terms of this. Um, but yeah, I did a mukbang yesterday. It's going to be at 9 o'clock p.m. If you did buy a squad Zoom ticket for the month of September, girl, I'm going to do two squad Zooms this month. Um, last month kind of got ahead of me, and this month is going to do the same. I already know, because um, in the fall, it's when I'm my most creative. So right now, I am finishing off an album. Squad, you have a task of helping me style my um, music video that I'm going to LA for the 24th to the 29th. Yes, and there will be a meet and greet. So if you're trying to see me in LA, see me in LA you can. Um, it's going to be later on in this month. And my Halloween costume is lit. I'm not going to y'all not going to be able to guess what I'm in. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm in. Uh, but you, you're going to see what I'm in. It's the complete opposite of what you think I should be. Um, it's not a dude. So, no. If you guess it, you'll never guess. You'll never guess what it is. So, um... I just can't. I love Halloween. I love Halloween because everybody feels the need to release their inhibitions and be as creatively free and expressive with their aesthetic as I am on a daily basis. So this Halloween, I guess I'm taking that concept and inverting it because I'm always standing out. So it's going to be, um, I hope you like the concept, but I need six outfits. And Squad, let me give you some advice. I ain't buying, I ain't wearing nothing off Fashion Nova for a fucking music video. Okay, that's the first thing. I y'all y'all are thinking way too cheap for mother for me. Okay. I saw some of y'all's comments and I'm like, girl, you this look like some Dollar Tree ivory here. I mean we, we it can be Dollar Tree, but we're gonna have to make this shit look high fashion, bitch. Like, okay, mother got some coin. Okay, so don't don't what y'all y'all are sending me some cheap ass shit. I'm not about to wear no cheap ass shit in the middle of the damn uh, Grand Canyons. I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> so y'all need to find some elegant robes. I'm willing to drop stacks on these outfits. Think more expensive. Don't think about what you would do because if it was up to the squad bitch I'd be walking around in the bumblebee costume. Um sir come here You just got to check on this baby because this baby really will get missing. Come here, sit right here. Sit right there. Sit down. Nope, sit right there. You almost had it. Sit right there. Sit. Good boy. Now go get your treat. Go get it. Did you, oh, you are. You got it out the air. That's my little nigga right there. You impress a bitch every time. Now, look, I'm going to throw all of these right quick. I'm going to throw these shits right quick. And then we're going to have a QA. and gay. But I don't know. For some reason, y'all comments acting crazy. Mm, hold on. Go ahead. Damn. 
Y'all comments acting crazy. Uh, we got five dollars for St. Jude. Praise God. Instagram just took sixty-seven percent of it. <laughs> so if you guys do want to donate, you can. Um, I don't mind. I gotta really figure out what's going on with that. How can I go live when I have a fundraiser attached, but I can't go live if I don't? That's to me. It's it's, it's that's that's corruption to me. You know, that's just what it sounds like. But we're a part of the game. We're a part of the system, and it is what it is. You know, I've been talking to this dude from Morocco. And I want to fuck so bad. Look, I ain't fucked in about seven. This is the longest I have ever went without having sexual intercourse with somebody. It is the longest. And you might ask how I feel. Honestly, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel like my energy is my own. I feel like... I feel good. I feel I feel determined to find something other than sex. And y'all want to know who done came back? The goddamn grocery shopper. Y'all know retrograde ended today, so yesterday was the day that people could still return and stuff like that. The goddamn grocery shopper. For y'all who don't know, this nigga came to my house and started throwing stuff in his grocery bag out of my damn cabinets. Um, and I had to wave my gun in his face and he had to get the fuck on about his business. But I think he stole my Urban Outfitters table that was supposed to go in that beach room. Somebody stole that goddamn table. I don't know who stole that table. And I ain't, I ain't thinking to read it, but now I'm thinking about it, I'm getting a tingling in my cooch. I need to, you know, mm-hmm. We're fixing to find out. It's some stuff. And, you know, my silverware um, is getting missed. But I break a lot of shit, too. I'm going to find that fucking table. But how you steal a table and your ass ain't got no car? I mean, what did you do? Just You, you took the table in an Uber, Uber or something? Like, I don't know what the fuck you would do with your broke ass. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. When you got the coin, you can afford to replace. You just want to make sure your circle tight, you know. And I know my circle is, so we good. Um, I do not twist my locks, no. I have sherry locks, which is a version of inner locks. They're the smallest locks that you can obtain. Um, and I do get my hair done tomorrow, so... Um, and it's so funny because my mom and Maya come over here tomorrow and we're going through all of my clothing or whatever. And they really think I'm going to help them. No, I'm going to sit right there and watch them go through each thing. Keep, delete, keep, delete. And that might be the word of the day. Keep and delete. Y'all got to take inventory on your people. You know, I saw this recent thing with Kimberell. She went on Tamron Hall. Tamron gave her a platform because I guess she told Tamron that she wanted to elaborate on her commentary when it came down to uh, something that happened with Kimberrell, like calling the people out of church or whatever. And then she done redirected it to her constituents talking about Yolanda Adams, talking about how people would come to her aid in private, but not in public. She even brought up Tamar Braxton. Uh, and yeah, I wouldn't doubt that shit. Mm -mm. I wouldn't doubt that shit on some of them girls. I wouldn't doubt that shit on some of them girls. Some of them girls are smiling your face. <laughs> okay, whole time. You look, look, this squat, squat, squat. You know the T already, so ain't no sense of rehashing, recapping, rebashing, rebashers. Uh, the bastards. Uh, that's what it is. The bastards is what it is. Um, but Kimberly went up there and said what she had to say. And one of the things that she said during that sermon that she went on Tamron Hall to defend herself about uh, was that you need to start taking inventory about the people around you. And I'm going to expand on that by saying keep and fucking delete. Keep and fucking delete. We are entering into an era of unlimitless potential. And if you got certain things, people, places, events in your path that is constricting you like a viper... <laughs> you need to make a conscious decision whether you're going to allow certain energies to play an effect on your livelihood anymore. You need to actually consciously make the decision to keep or delete something in your reality. I've done that a lot subconsciously lately. I'm so busy with work that I really don't think about myself doing it. But people have been gone. People have been up. People have been back. People have been around. People have been gone. And all in all, I just think that it's about standard building. You know, once you once you delete something that's no longer working for you, are you going to allow that to come back into your reality? Or did you learn from the first time that you made a mistake? The difference is your standard changes based upon a negative experience. Okay, so I think that as of right now with me getting adjusted, and you'll see a lot more about me talking about this during the mukbang tonight. Um, and... You got you to gotta acclimate what you've gone through on a subconscious level to figure out are you working with God on what you're keeping? Or are you deleting everybody because you're nervous about the trust levels that you have with people in your reality? You got to really take inventory on yourself. So, Kimberly, you was right about that. It was just your delivery in a Christian church that bitches can't take. 
Mm. Keep and delete. So let's talk about some things I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep my staff. My staff is tight. Tightest motherfuckers i ever seen. I'm going to keep my staff. I'm going to keep my pets. I'm going to keep my magic, bitch. I'm going to keep my job. I'm going to keep going to the top. What am I going to delete? Unnecessary niggas. Niggas is just there just to be there. I don't, and I, you know, it's weird. I don't understand hanging out no more. It's so weird. I've been on this whole, like, purpose of life, midlife crisis type shit. Where it's like, what's the point in me wanting to just sit on your couch and look at a TV? There's got to be more depth to an experience than that. Like, I just, you know, I, I'm not with this idol. Let's just go shopping to spend money, but for what? But for what? I need to look good for a music video, so I'm dropping stacks on that. You, you see what I'm saying? It has to, like, I don't know what has happened to me since, uh, you know, purchasing this home, but I, 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 I'm, I'm contextualizing life differently. You know, what I'm also going to keep is my wits about me. I'm going to keep my intelligence. I'm going to uh, keep keep being consistent, keep my tenacity. Uh, one thing I'm going to delete is me feeling ashamed of having what I have. <laughs> control, alt, delete on that motherfucker, you heard me? Or if you have a, um, a Mac option, control, escape. And there is no escape if you choose to keep something that you should have been deleting. So for Sunday inspiration today, I need you in the comment section to tell me three things you're going to keep and three things that you finna motherfucking delete. Because if, 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 you, if you stay consistent with where you are, you ain't going to change. As, and, you know, some people are like, well, I like where I'm at. Okay, cool. Do you have ambitions on getting further than where you are? If you don't, then keep. Straight up. Just keep everything around you. But I ain't never satisfied. And it's not, it's not, it's not I'm selfish or I'm cocky or I'm greedy. It's, it's, I need, I need that energy, that, that feeling to, to, to make me feel fulfilled. And I don't feel it yet. Now, this is why I know I'm a deity. This is why I know I'm a God. Because normal people will be completely satisfied with this. Normal people would take that little bit of money they got right now, take the next five years off, blow everything, file for bankruptcy, and watch rents and repeat the same process. I'm not fulfilled where I'm at. And I think that that's God's purpose on my life, and I'm going to keep that. But one thing I'm going to delete is, is feeling bad about it. We all were dealt a set of cards. Bro, when we came into this this life, we made a contract with the deities, gods, God, or source that we that we choose to attune our energy to prior to this existence, right? And 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 it knows it, it, you knew you knew you just forgot because there's a veil of forgiveness over this plane, but that's alien, and we're not gonna talk about that right now. But I am gonna do a whole conspiracy live video next week because it's a lot of things I believe, and it's a lot of things going on right in front of your motherfucking face that you're not really paying no goddamn attention to. And you can keep on with that. Keep on. Keep on not paying attention to it. Mm. You're going to wake up one day and try to figure out why the plants is talking to you. Or why crystals are playing music. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to talk about all the conspiracies. From the aliens to the government. <laughs> Maybe I should sell tickets to that. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll do a conspiracy conversation. And you can buy tickets. Tickets will be like $25. A conspiracy discussion. And we'll have, like, we'll do this, like, we'll do this once in a while. I'm not going to do it, like, squad Zoom. Because I swear, you know, when you have stuff like consistency like that on, the, on a schedule, it be feeling like, bitch, it was just last month. We just had fucking squad Zoom. Did we not just fucking have squad Zoom? Am I, am I tripping? By the way, this live is brought to you by St. Drew. I actually don't hate this fundraiser idea. I just... I, I wonder if I can, like, make my own. I actually did apply for um, verification, too. Again, for, like, the 12th time this year. Um, and that leads me to my next point. The scammers is going to keep on. It's your job to delete. Don't tell me, please. I don't give a fuck. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm a swimmer after Thanksgiving. I got a long list of people I can sue after Thanksgiving. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. But until then, I mean, they are contacting my real family. My family is like, um, what happened to my reading, Brandon? I'm like, bitch, are you that dumb? You're my fucking cousin. Why would I have four O's in my fucking username on Instagram when I have an Instagram account that has damn near half a million followers that I purchased? Bing! <laughs> that's the key right there. I'm going to keep on. You got to accept yourself as yourself and where you are. You got to take inventory. You got to keep and delete after this motherfucker. You heard me. You got to, you got to, you got to really, you got to, you got to take responsibility. <coughs> and in doing that, you keep and delete. 
You know, a lot of us feel like life happens to us. No, everything happening to you right now is, is because of a conscious decision that you made. And to make a different one. But you're not going to be able to know what decisions you're making if you don't keep a delete. Sir, come here. Sir, come here. Sir? Server is. God damn. Shit. Well, let's see if this Apple AirTag works. Cerberus. I'm about to delete this goddamn dog. Okay, he's moving around somewhere. Like, I can see him on the map. This is so cool. <laughs> Summer is! Okay, well, let me go find my dog. Uh, you trying Cerberus? No. I put him in dog school, and then right after that, he went to jail. So, he got his little jail collar on right now. Damn. Let me go find my dog before I delete him. And thank you for keep watching me. I love you guys very much. Again, I'm on break. Uh, so, make sure that you uh, have your notifications on. And I'll see you tonight on um, Boots Sunday Dinner. Have a good day. And happy Sunday. And Coven. We got to finish that ritual fucking today. Don't play with me. Have a good one, guys. You got me going all the way around the neighborhood and your black ass at the front door. Look at me. Sit. Sit, boy. Sit. You know you in trouble.